Welcome back. Tonight on the gadget shelf, as you can see here, it's Thursday. Global maintenance for FFB has concluded nearly three hours ago, and there are player appreciation tickets on my account, which I reserved for this video. So we can uh, pull with me while appreciating the ROG Phone 5S through a game scenario. So I'll put up my face so that you know you can see me react because polls of this nature have been known to be a little bit uh i wouldn't say rigged, uh a little bit bad but hopefully we get some nice real good stuff and because we're on the rg phone 5s let's go a little bit more gamey as you can see right now it's 50 percent battery 49 let's go x mode on this thing which basically converts the wallpaper and transfers all the phone resources into making your gameplay faster you can also see here that there are now two yeah two Wi-Fi signals over there. That means on X mode, if it's in range of a uh, an appropriate or multiple Wi-Fi signals that it knows, it will manage that so that you're sure that you won't be uh, lagging or being kicked out of the game because of connection issues. Another thing with X mode, the logo here at the back lights up so everybody knows that you're gaming when they see you from the back. So they know that you shouldn't be disturbed. All right, so let's go to the, uh, let's go to the game and yeah let's let that load up so this thing here the animation that can be turned off if you don't like it but basically it tells you the optimizations that you have for this specific game that you're playing and later we can go to the armory crate and see uh just how many hours have been logged into this game and it's actually a really good time right now because there's a new neo visions global original unit that they have released in the form of esther and she's looking to be really really strong so let's put up some volume because I'm I'm pretty sure the, the the microphone won't pick this up uh because of suppression but yeah you should know that the stereo on this device is really nice and it really adds to the experience of gaming so we'll go to the yeah, so we started the game. Now we don't want to be bothered. We pull up the game genie from the left right there. I'm not sure if we can do it from the other side, no? From the right, uh, from the left, and we can turn off alerts. So that turns off notifications, turns off calls. Let's put up real-time info. And we will also record this so that you can see the stress that that might put on both the CPU and the GPU. This game right now is running at 61, 62 frames per second. It's locked to 60, but if you read around, it says it's actually, it can utilize 144, although I don't know when or where that would happen. So we can dynamically put up the refresh rate. And then let's record this thing. 
Yep. 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 All right. So, yeah. Let's see how many tickets we got because, you know, I've been playing this a long time. Five years, actually. Uh, tickets, tickets, tickets. All right, here. The other tickets I've already uh, pulled out earlier. So there's none of those. Sino Gears was the last collaboration, and the RG Phone 5S really helped me through one of the challenge there. Actually, let me show you that now before we continue with the game. As you can see here. This is a damage cap screen cap. As you can see, there's a badge there for ROG. If, if you screenshot on a game, an RG phone, or uh, it will display that. Right, so yeah, I thought I was at 15%, but that was that. So this, I was able to do it on this phone because partly because of the uh, latency between uh, chaining so that allowed me to do that the other uh, challenges i did on my other phone because sometimes you need more than one phone for some games all right let's go back i just maybe i'll just cut it out the recording of this specific record for the game. So I have 15 tickets. That's the, the maximum that you can get for this uh, giveaway. And then each summon summons 10 crystals. So let's see, this is the first one now. Unfortunately, Esther is not a part of this pool. Uh, the summon pool only has units from two events back and no limited units in this pool. See, that's really not a good start. But there's going to be 150 characters that will be pulled here. Hopefully, there's a red crystal because in this game, the red crystals are the uh, hardest one to get. It's the ultra rare tier SSRs, right? That sort. Yellows are like uncommons. And you really, at this stage of the game, both yellows and rainbows <clears throat> don't really mean anything. They're just, they're, you're just gonna fuse them or, well, rainbow ones give you uh, STMRs. Sometimes those can be nice. We're at what? The 30th pull, no red crystal yet. It's not surprising. Hmm. Speak of the devil. It's, all right, not very good, but. I'll take it at least, you know. Oh, up. also you can see here that the the background on the RG Phone 5S spans the entire phone. It's not just centered like on some phones you will find that it does that. This one because it's uh, specifically tuned to gaming. It recognizes that the developers are using a bigger image and it will show you that all right let's see the rest yep nothing so that was my third pull one red not bad odds on my other account I had six of these tickets and I got two. So hopefully, get more here because there are more pulls available for us. Um, 
Okay. That's not a bad fourth pull. Who could this be? Uh, it's okay. I think this might be... Yeah, this is a step towards EX3. I do have this unit already. Also, there's not a lot that's going to be new even if it's red in this account. This, this is a pretty, pretty old account. As you can see, it's ranked 220 now. I'm like... I'm a veteran at this game. That's what they call it. So, what else? Yeah, the touch response on the RG Phone 5S, as I was explaining earlier, is really, really fast. See, if you just graze it, it will already register as a touch. See, or try it sideways so you can see. Yeah, that's really important, especially for games with chaining mechanics like this one, where you need to push uh, two simultaneous uh, button presses so that frame registers right next to each other. And that would allow for the chaining frames to chain together and give you more damage. Uh, clears that are done on this game clear guides are usually done on the on the pc so that on the pc it's uh when you click on a button the chaining frame is exactly one frame difference one millisecond or something Was this like my sixth pull? There's another one. Who could it be? All right. I think this may be STMR. So that's uh, appreciated. Definitely. Because I still don't have the STMR. For Ice Reaper Kurasami. And if you didn't know, he is from the... Uh, fantasy type zero which i played on the the psp pool number what is this eight this eight no that was seven this is eight Will it be lucky eight? See, so as you can see, it's recording right now and showing us graphics. The CPU is at like one third, one fourth. And the GPU is around the same. It's at 30 degrees Celsius on an air conditioned environment. Not bad at all especially since this is on the new firmware you know i was forced to update uh when was that yesterday i think there was suddenly a force update which was weird it's set to not download updates but it did so anyway interestingly all right not that lucky pull number 10 what did did i get what like four nv units or three I've lost count but you know it's not that many all right there's another one right here this is actually quite nice and yeah, thank you for that. I do already have lightning fast Zidane or Zidane. Not sure though. 
at what ex level that's currently at i mean we can go through that later five more posts yeah, so right now we're doing uh recording sound graphics it's holding up pretty well there's no lag here it's really smooth so that's one thing that you can be sure of when you get a gaming phone but the this thing this armory crate here especially with the the macro uh is really really nice and also you can control the refresh rate if you wanted you know you can lock it to a lower refresh rate if you want to conserve battery as you remember we are on x mode so this is also consuming battery you can also remove that you know if you're competing you really want all, all of the the entire phone to be functioning for you and what i realized was with the rg phone 5s this is really just the core of the ecosystem the rg phone 5s has the kunai it has the aero cooler and uh, the dual screen you know there's that as well the dock which will allow you to oops look at that there are telltale signs when the crystal is turning a different color and this is not a very good one but it will be a transcension pearl because you can convert these units into pearls and fragments of themselves you you need multiple copies of it to become for it to become more powerful um what was i talking about what was I oh yeah yeah the core only three more uh, and also for this game you know uh since it is a gacha game and there is an automatic function somewhat you don't really need many of the buttons that are available to you on the rg phone 5s because you also have these these ultrasonic buttons here and not only that they can also recognize when you glided on them so when you you map these to like a specific game like a shooter it can function for you like maybe reload on the slide so you're shooting and then reload shooting reload you know you could do that and then apart from that there are also controls for when you've tilted the device so it recognizes controls from there so really the rg phone 5s is apart from being the core of an entire gaming ecosystem it does try to give you all the ecosystem on its own just by itself so really at the price it is right now it's quite uh tasty i would say if you're looking for a phone and you're in need of one you know and you're not specific about uh the camera because the camera on this thing it's not bad but when you're recording on the main camera and you try to shift to the wide angle lens oh i, I don't have this before what is it? Fist attack machine killer at level 10. Whose card is this? I am not sure. I don't have it. So this is the last of the tickets. 
So after the post, we'll try to uh, stress out the GPU a little bit by giving it a lot of frames to consider. Yep, nothing on the last oh, typical. Okay, so on steady, we have end recording. We have the uh, CPU and GPU at around a third of the device capability. Stop the recording here. And you can see that the utilization drops because it's not doing the recording anymore. So we'll go to a... Do we have... Yeah, we have an intro quest here so we can do a full-on limit burst display. So I'm selecting I think this theme might be interesting. See the limit burst of each one of them. So you can see this is my fragment team for an event which delivers fragments. So since this is just a unit intro quest that's meant for us to get to know Esther and make us want to pull for her, it allows all the limit burst to be at maximum, ready to fire. Let's make sure all the effects for our limit bursts are on. Yep, on everything. And we'll start with Esther so we'll actually see the animation happen here. The spike on the GPU will happen once all the uh, bursts are attacking the Cactor, which this one can be killed, of course. It's uh, not a very uh, powerful unit. So you really appreciate all the animation with, yeah, so there, the GPU spiked to like 72% for one second there, but it does go back down uh, just as quickly. So you can tell that with hardware such as this, the Snapdragon 888 Plus, you won't have any problem if, for example, you're in a high stakes game and all the ultimates are being thrown around and on the screen. Yeah, you'll, you'll be sure that you're still moving optimally in the, in the encounter. So yeah, not a very good result for the NODs that I had or have gotten. It was a bit expected. Let's filter it out by thing so we can see what, what happened. Should be ascending. Hmm? What happened? Oh, wait. Oh yeah, it has party priority. So here are the ones, the new ones that I gotten. These two were not included in those appreciation tickets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six of a hundred and fifty. That's uh not a really good showing of odds, but you know, it's something of the sort. Yep. So uh, before we terminate this scenario, I would just like to show you what happened like 
yesterday, I believe this was. See, I have my update set. Let's check it out now. It's supposed to be set to non-updating. See, system, update, setting. Yes, you can see here, it says, do not allow automatic download and install. So this was my best effort to stop this from happening. However, yesterday I received this message on screen, which says, please update the system. The system will automatically download and install the updates after 30 minutes if you tap later. Yeah, so I didn't tap later. I uh, went back. You can do a swipe motion for back or home. That's what I did. But where's the date? Where's the? Can you show me the time? So this was here are the properties here. This was around yeah, ten thirty two, and then this one came at around eleven fifty two. A new, a new system update has been installed, reboot now. So it just, you know, went ahead and put the firmware on there. Now, uh, so far, this new firmware, let's check what it is. It's not had any problems with it whatsoever. So I think they have uh, taken care of the bugs. The phone is now at 2201192 worldwide version. This should be the latest, right? Yep, it is the latest as of this time. So, yeah, that's uh, an appreciation of the ROG Phone 5S over an appreciation pull video. I hope you like it and you know, this phone, while it is a bit heavy, that's my only gripe about it, it's really, really powerful. There's a lot of controls that you can uh, configure whatever game it is you're playing on it. And for the price now, I think it's a much, much lower uh, price of entry into the ROG phone environment this is the fifth iteration of this phone it is uh an updated rg phone 5 with the snapdragon 888 plus right before the snapdragon 8 gen ones had come along and it's still a really really good choice for a gaming phone so yeah, I hope you like this video. For more things like this, subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.